Shebero, my first husband. Where have you been? I should ask you the same question, Shibiru. You come home late at midnight and you ask me where I have been. I have been here the whole day and night waiting for you. Where have you been? Do you want something to eat? Don't change the subject. You just came in, <laughs> didn't you? Just a few minutes before I did. Please don't start. Tell me, did you go to that son of a bitch? Did you tell him that you miss him? Who? Your first choice. My first choice? You told me I am not your first choice. I have already gotten married to you. Does it really matter? Yes, it matters. It matters when the woman you love, the woman you call your wife, tells you you are not her first choice. <laughs> it hurts. I chose to marry you. But I was not the first choice. It doesn't matter to me. Do not keep telling me that. <laughs> it matters to me. What do you want me to do then? Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Can I bring the dinner now? I have already eaten and drunk. I can see that you are drunk. I drunk because I am angry at your first choice. You can drink in the name of all the men in the world, but don't blame me that I have something to do with them. Of course you have something to do with your first choice. Yes, he was my first boyfriend. You see? You still think he's first? Because that is the truth. T tell me one true thing. What? Do you still love him? I know my answer will give you a very good reason for you to drink the coming hundred years. Forget my first choice. He's married. Just go to your bed. How do you know he is married? I heard he got married three weeks ago. Who, who told you? That also matters, eh? When did you see him last? When we got separated two years ago. Then? How the hell do you know he got married? If you are not seeing him? Or you are going around asking people how he is doing? No, he sent me an invitation card. Why? Asking me to attend. And? I didn't go. Why? Why? I can't stand seeing him getting married. You see? You still have feelings for him. I don't know. Of course you know. I want to know. I can't tell you more. The more you know, the more you go jealous. And the more jealous you get, the more I get headaches. I, I am not jealous. Then why do you insist to know? Because... Because... I, I believe communication is important for our marriage. Transparency is important. Tra tra Transparency is what puts me into an interrogation. If I, if I, I should have kept my mouth, I sh should I just tell you lies? Transparency is truth. Truth is that you are not my first choice. Do you also know where he lives? Your first choice, for God's sake! You can find his address on the invitation card. Give it to me. I threw it away. Where did you throw it? 
in the garbage bin. Why? I am going to visit him. What? Are you going to fight? Why should I fight? There is no need to fight as long as he is honest with me. I'm going just to ask him. Ask him what? I will ask his name. I have... I have told you a hundred times that his name is Johanny. Don't say his name! This is the end of our discussion and your visit plan. Are you his first choice too? That is what I want to know. What if I am? Then why would he marry that other woman? For the same reason I married you. <laughs> And why, in the name of saint marriage, was that? I am sick and tired of your suspicions. How long do we have to live like this? A thousand and a hundred questions lie out there, hanging in the air. All my questions must get answers before I go to sleep. I cannot go to bed and nothing. Then I'll write you an FAQ. Who is he? FAQ? <laughs> you can find frequently asked questions about me in every discussion we have had for the last one and a half a year. Mm, I don't understand. And I don't understand you. You are not that sweet, cheerful Shibiru anymore. What happened to you? Oh, I'm lost. Good night. <laughs> what are you doing? Where do you think you're going? To that garbage bin. Are you out? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> My first choice is in the middle of his honeymoon sleep. And I am in the middle of this nightmare. Oh. Did you say it's over? I wish that was true. She has said that a thousand times. She's a liar. She just wants him to beg. She knows he will. And I know he will. But she has to complain first and pretend that she will leave him. And then he will beg. That is our calculations. Anyways, after I got separated with Shiviru, I made up with Johannes. Johannes was a very handsome man. The man I once was dearly, madly, and blindly loved. We had a fight, broke up, and I got married to someone else. Actually, I got married to make him angry because he was the one and main reason for my first divorce. And he owed me. After Shiviru, he and I made up. His marriage had not gone well either. He was alone. I was alone. After all, we were each other's first choice. I proposed to him. <laughs> Can you believe this? I did not tell this to anyone, but I did. I convinced him to marry me. Let me put it this way. I begged him to marry me. <laughs> Surprisingly, he said, okay. He was sad that his wife had left him. He needed someone to comfort him. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay! I we got married. He became my second husband. My first choice, but my second husband. Are you not going to kiss me hello? Ah, I am tired. Are you too tired to kiss? I am tired of everything. Tired of everything? Did you have a long day? It was not my day. It's my life I'm concerned about. What about your life? I want to end it. What? You want to end it? You want to end your life? No, it's not my life I want to end. 
I don't understand what you... It is us. Us? We need to end this. This. What we call marriage. Meaning? I have a confession to make. Confession? Okay, forget the confession. I want a divorce. Why? You will get mad if I tell you the truth. I won't get mad. Tell me the truth. Is there another woman? Are you going back to your ex-wife? No! Then why do you want to leave me? I don't want to leave you, Marta. I just don't want to be married to you. <laughs> why? What did I do to you? I don't love you, Marta. You don't... What? I don't even like you. You don't like me? No. Not even a little? No. Have you tried your best? I've tried, but I can't. I mean, before I got you, I practically worshipped you. But the woman I saw in the hands of another man is not the same woman I see here before me now. I don't even know why I married you. You depress me. You are as cold as a stone which spent the night outside. <laughs> ah, then go. <laughs> I am not stopping you. There are plenty of stay-at-home stones out there and you are free. Fine. I will go. But you will regret this. You will never have a chance to be with someone like me ever again. <laughs> We will see. <laughs> <laughs> You're the wicked one now. How can you be so hurtful? Eh. Eh. You think I was not hurt when you married another man? Is this supposed to be payback? Is that why you said, okay, to marry me for revenge? You know, I'm, I am not that type of a person. I did forgive you, but I do not forget that you left me for another man. What? You forgive and not forget. What type of person does that make you look like? Loving? Caring? Forgiving? And heartbreaking! <laughs> Those real affectiers. What do you care? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. I am just trying to help. The best way to help is to leave me alone. Fine. <laughs> Forgive me, Marta, for trying to be nice. Nice? You call this nice, rejecting me and calling me that I'm a traitor? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? What, what, what I'm saying is, is that you can find someone who likes you better. What if no one likes me that way? Someone will. I, I believe we all have someone special waiting for us out there. I hope you're right. I know I am right. Johannes, are you sure you couldn't be that special someone? I don't know, Marta. I don't know. Uh, let's give it some time. Right now, I am hungry, tired, and confused. Do you want something to eat? <laughs> if, if it's okay with you. What do you want to eat? C can I have my last bowl of porridge? I, I like it when you do it. Yeah. <laughs> what now? Did I say something bad? No! Then why are you crying? Please stop! Would you, would, you, would you like me to stop crying? Yes, of course. Can I get a hug? Uh, of course. One last goodbye hug. Johannes, is it okay if I can look you up sometime? I don't know, Marta. I don't know anything right now. But one thing is for certain. What's that, Johannes? <laughs> you can keep the house. <laughs> the house. This is my uncle's house. Please leave. <laughs> oh.
what about my porridge? Out! <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow to discuss the divorce. That is how my second marriage ended. I was ashamed to have two divorces, and I thought I would die without your harness. But I moved on. I moved on and kept living in this same house with this noisy couple. Why is he quiet today? When she cries, he always begs. That's how it's supposed to be. Yes, she keeps on crying and he, he, wait a minute, no, he's not home. But why is he silent? Hmm? He was home a few minutes ago. But why is he quiet? I hate it when men go silent. Something is not normal when men shut up. He has to speak. He has to say something. He has to beg before she starts to cry. There must be something. Something, a word or two, an utter. <laughs> when I asked Johannes to say something, oh boy, he said it all. He said he had never loved me. He said he could not live with the past. So the best I could do to him was to let him live with his past. After that, he kept on recalling his past, and I kept on marrying. I was 30. I could not live single, divorced, or widowed. <laughs> there must be someone in my life. I met that someone. I married that someone because he was better than my two ex-husbands. He did not care about my past. My ex-husbands could not live, neither today nor the future. On the contrary, my third husband did not care about my past. I thought he was a very visionary man. Okay, think, think, and think. There must be something else you bought. No million. I gave you 10,000 francs. And you gave me an 8,515 uh, francs receipt. Something is missing here. Yes, I think I bought something and I forgot to ask for a receipt. But most shops have a cash register machine, honey. <laughs> you, you are great to shop from those stores. It is very important that we get receipts, honey, otherwise we go bankrupt. <laughs> I don't really remember where and where... I... You should remember! Think. Relax now, honey. Think of all the cosmetic shops you went through. I did not go to any cosmetics shop. I went straight to the supermarket and bought some food. Uh, where did you go after that? I took a taxi and came home directly. We agreed to use buses! <sighs> okay. <laughs> you took a taxi and paid for your transportation. Are you sure you got your balance back? I did not pay. I came with my neighbor, Mesut, who paid for both of us. <laughs> that is very good! <laughs> Then, now, where did you spend the 1,485 francs? I don't know, million. You must know! I would have shocked myself if I'd known you were unable to manage your finances correctly. We must set up a proper, proper bookkeeping system in this house. Everything is getting expensive. Maybe that is why. Uh, but, but the receipt does not show that, 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 that you spent extra, but lost money, honey. <laughs> all I know is that I spent all the money on food. We are only two, honey. We cannot afford to spend 10,000 francs in a month on food. Why not? Why not? Because that is what we planned, that's why, and it's here in the paper. 
what if we eat thousands? What if we eat millions? Or what if we eat you? Calm down, honey. We can eat the uh, entire world in the future. But in the time being, we cannot afford to spend 10,000 francs on food, on something that we only turn to waste. Everything is a waste and you are a waste of my time. Easy, ma. <laughs> you are getting edgy, honey. Okay, let us relax now. Take a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Very good. I know topic of money make you crazy, but you can at least try. Just think of the future. How? Uh, I know you are fond of spending money on useless luxuries. It is okay. That's a human's feeble nature. I am here to help. I am coaching you to concentrate on your affordable needs. I will cleanse you with the spirit of prioritizing. You can call it saving. I call it torture. Come on, honey. You deserve better than this entire artificial world. Money is artificial. But, but it can buy you non-artificial things. For instance? For instance? Land, uh, people, I mean, you can buy human resources. You can buy the universe, but don't ask me for the receipt. I don't have the receipts. I don't have them. I don't have the money. So what? What do you want me to do? Hang myself. I need a financial report Why when you're shopping. Is this an accountant's office or something? All I did was to buy that stupid wall clock and I'm being sentenced into inspection death. Get off me, Leon. You, you bought a wall clock? <laughs> yes. You see that on that wall? Why? What was it in our plan? No. And I don't care. You should have told me that earlier. All our discussion has been a waste of time. Time is money for God's sake. How many times should I have to tell you that, Marta? You have told me money is everything a million times. Do, do we really need that clock? Yes. Why? It is that clock which tells me that time is up. What time? The time to break up. Which break up is this? Is it in our plan? <laughs> I can't take this anymore, Million. I want a divorce. How much will it cost? Twice before you, you said things like that, Marta, this could backfire on you. Why? Because you are not going to get a single franc out of me. I know you like to make a living out of divorcing. What? Last time you got a house. Now you want my money. <laughs> I want ah. you and your money out of my life. Don't say I didn't warn oh, you. Oh, don't say I didn't warn you. Think about it, Marta. Getting a divorce is very expensive these days. Uh, how, how, how will you manage to pay for a lawyer? Out! You spent all your money on a wall clock. Out! I will still need a receipt for that wall clock, by the way. May God give you a husband who does not know mathematics was one of my grandmother's blessings. His name was Million because his parents wanted to see him a millionaire. And so he worked very hard to meet his parents' dream. He made me believe that we will have a bright future together. I admired him for that. 
I admired him when he convinced me that marriage ceremony is nothing but a waste of resource. I admired him when he convinced me that children are nothing but a waste of money. And so I agree not to have a child until the right time comes. I waited for two years. God knows how long I can still wait. I am 35. Even that new wall clock does not work forever. Is she still crying? He's so cruel. Shouldn't he at least console her as he used to do? Will you please beg her? She's never cried this long. Whoa. What was that? That's ear piercing. Horrible. I think they are fighting for real. You know, sometimes it is good to fight for real. Whoa. What an earthquake. It feels like they're blowing up this building. Or I think they're really fighting for real. I should call my mama. Hi, mama. Ouch. I think it's going to kill her. What? No. Yes, I am okay. I, I know it's late. Did I wake you up? There's a war here. Third world war, maybe. I think we have freeze judgment day. I'm not asleep. I said I'm okay, mama. It is my neighbors. Oh, they are fighting. She is screaming. Can you hear? What? No, I did not call to tell you this. I called to ask you something. Is the man still available? <laughs> the man with, with, with two dead wives, mama. Yes, the man you said has six sons. You gave an assignment to meet him, remember? Yes, I'm ready. I, I, I said, yes, I'll marry him. I am serious, I'll marry him, mama. But on two conditions. Yes, first I want you to check on him. Find out how his wives died. Was, was, it, was it a natural death or suspicious? <laughs> yes, mama, I, I, I am going to live with him. I will stay with him under the same roof and sleep with him in the same bed. No, I'm not asking you to psychoanalyze the man. It's, it's just a simple investigation. Is he a lover or a killer? I need to know. Oh my God, I think he's going to kill her. She's, she's screaming. What second condition? Oh, yes. Um, is he willing to have another child? Of course I want to have a child, Mama. Please, Mama, will you call him and let me know? I don't care if this marriage does work or not, but I've got to gain something out of it this time. Yes, yes, yes. She's calling for help. No, but can you call me after you've checked this man out, Mama? I can't talk to you right now. I've got to extinguish the fire. Call you. I love you. Bye. Ah!